Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. So in the last video of Ratios and Proportion Part 1, so we dealt with the basic formulas that we see in Ratios and Proportion and we also solve A is to B is to C and A is to B is to C is to D. So let us solve few more problems to understand the basic concepts of Ratios and Proportions better. So the question that they have given is, if A by 2 equal to B by 3 equal to C by 5, then find A is to B is to C. So for first, what we have to do is, a by 2 equal to b by 3 equal to c by 5 equal it to a variable called x. So what we do now? a by 2 equal to x which is nothing but a is equal to 2x. Similarly, b by 3 is equal to x so b is equal to 3x. c by 5 is equal to x so c is equal to 5x. So a is to b is to c is nothing but 2x is to 3x is to 5x which is nothing but 2 is to 3 is to 5. So if you are a person who is solving ratio and proportion for a very long time, then as you see the question itself, you will directly write it as 2 is to 3 is to 5. So if you are a person who don't know much, what you have to do is that take the question, equal it to a constant, then separately do it as a by 2 equal to x, b by 3 is equal to x, c by 5 is equal to x. Then they are asking us to find the a is to b is to c. Now whatever the values that you have got here, you will put it here and that's how you will find it. Sometimes you will get a bigger ratio here, solve it to a lower value, which equates to the option that they have provided in the question. Let's solve another problem. So the next question is, if 3a is equal to 4b is equal to 5c, then find a is to b is to c. In the last question, we found that everything was in fraction, we equated it to x. The similar method, you are going to use it here. So what do you do as usual? 3a is equal to 4b is equal to 5c. As usual, equating it to a constant, let's say x. So 3a is equal to x, so a is equal to x by 3. Similarly, 4b is equal to x and b is equal to x by 4. Similarly, 5c is equal to x and c is equal to x by 5. So what they are asking for? a is to b is to c. So which is nothing but x by 3 is to x by 4 is to x by 5. So in the earlier video, we told that how we multiply a common number across the ratio, the ratio will remain the same. So we are going to take the LCM of 3, 4 and 5. So we take it as 4, 3, 3, 12, 60 x by 3, 60 into x by 4 and 60 into x by 5. So it goes for 20, this goes for 1, 5, this goes for 12. So it is nothing but 20 is to 15 is to 12. So your a is to b is to c is nothing but 20 is to 15 is to 12. So in previous sum, what we did, the fractions was given, we directly equated it to an x and automatically got the answer here. In this case, they have given it as a value like this. You will get your ratios in fractions here. What do you do? You will use it as a common multiplier across the ratio, then reduce it to a common value here. So sometimes this will be non-reducible. If it's like that, if it's 20, 15 and 12 won't uh, go with a common divisor. So we will stop it here. When you find this an option, you can directly answer it. Let's solve another question. So the next question that they have asked is, if a 10% of x is equal to 30% of y, then x is to y is what? So what they have given in the question, 10% of x is equal to 30% of y. So we know that x is to y is nothing but x divided by y. So let's find x divided by y here. So 1x is equal to 3y. So x divided by y is nothing but 3 by 1. So obviously x is to y is nothing but 3 is to 1. So once you find the question, always remember x is to y is nothing but x by y. So once you find the fraction of it, that is nothing but the same as their ratio. Let's solve another problem. So the next question is, if 2 is to x is to 3 is to 4, then x is equal to what? So, if you had remember in our earlier video, a is to b versus to c is to d. Means and extreme. So what we did, a into d is equal to b into c. Similar thing we are going to do here. So what they have given, 2 is to x is to 3 is to 4. So multiply the means and extremes. So 2 into 4 is equal to 3 into x. So 4 to the 8 equal to 3 into x. So x is equal to 8 by 3. 
which is nothing but 2.67 approximately. So, nothing but 2 is to 2.67 is to 3 is to 4. So, your x is nothing but 2.67. So, once I give the question or if you remember this formula, irrespective of whether they didn't give D or B or C, you can easily find the missing variable here. You have to substitute it as X and find the value of X. Let's solve another problem. So, the next question that I have given is what is the inverse ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1? Inverse ratio is nothing but 3 is to 2 is to 1. Inverse ratio of it is 1 is to 3 is to 1 by 2 is to 1 by 1. So, what you have to do in a Previous sum we saw how we multiply a common thing here. So for 3 and 2 we know that 6 is there. So 1 by 3 is to 6 into 1 by 2 is to 6 into 1 by 1. So 3, 2. 2 is to 3 is to 6. So the inverse ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1 is nothing but 2 is to 3 is to 6. So what are the other questions that they can ask instead of inverse ratio? They can ask duplicate ratio. What is duplicate ratio is nothing but square of it. So, square of 3 is to 2 is to 1. So, similarly, what other thing they can ask? Triplicate. Triplicate is nothing but cube of the same ratio. What are the other thing they can ask? Subduplicate. Subduplicate is nothing but square root. So, you have to remember what is inverse, what is duplicate, what is triplicate and what is subduplicate. So, these are the very small questions that you can find in any of the examinations. Let's solve another sum. So, the next question they have asked is, find the fourth proportional to the 5, 8 and 15. So, they have given question like that. We know that A is to B is to C is to D. So, they are asking for the fourth proportional. Fourth proportional is nothing but D. So, we know that 5 is to 8, 15 is to X. So, we are going to D keep D as X here. So, as usual, multiply the mean and extremes. 5 into x is equal to 8 into 15, x is equal to 24. What are the other ways they can ask the same question? Instead of fourth proportion, they can ask for the second proportion. Second proportion is nothing but b. They can ask for the third proportion, which is nothing but c. So, whatever be the question is, if you remember this, either of the, they would have definitely given you the three values. You have to find the missing one. So, it will be very easy for you to solve the problem. So, today we dealt with some of the simple problems one may face in ratios and proportions. In the upcoming videos, we will be solving a lot of tougher problems. So, if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.